it's also a big birthday today. George Clooney turned 60. Get out of here. Wow, that's insane. Are you serious? Wow. So, I mean, there's too many. Twitter only has four for the poll, so I was just throwing out best George, your favorite George Clooney movie. Michael Clayton. Michael Clayton, Perfect Storm, Ocean's Eleven, Out of Sight I put on there. Out Under, of Sight, well, it's two underrated. Soderbergh's on there. Yeah, it's an underrated yeah, yeah, yeah. Soderbergh movie, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Jennifer Lopez. He and Jen- Jennifer Lopez, terrific. Great movie. Yes. Yeah. Was that... Um, I think Ving Rhames is also in okay, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was great. Is that an Elmore Leonard movie? Was that an Out of Sight and Elmore Leonard novel? Mm, good question. Yes, it got nominated for Best uh, Adapted Screenplay. It was terrific. I love that. Out of Sight is... is, is and Ocean's Eleven is yeah, truly Shields. an amazing, so great. fun movie. It is so, so rewatchable. Oh, it is yes. so remote, remote drop. drop. Yeah, it is so great. Yeah. But there is no greater George Clooney movie or performance together than Michael Clayton. It yeah, is the that. best. It is the greatest. I love the finish. I love the script. I love the whole story. He is so amazing in it. Michael Clayton, remote drop. I know I'm going to lose that battle. and I lose every single one of our pop culture. Pop but I'm questions. with you on that one. Michael Clayton. 100%. That's, he was, All four of these are great. I mean, I mean, it was tough to come up with just four, but those are the big ones. No, I, 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 what, what, what currently? Uh, let uh, me perfect, hit that with a retweet. Uh, yeah, Ocean's Eleven is running away, 71%. I mean, it's a great movie. Yeah, it's great. 12% Perfect See, the Storm. Perfect Storm, Storm, Storm is my, uh, I love that. 9% uh, Clayton, eight, 7% Out of Sight. I mean, I know it's hard because there are so many, man, but From Dusk Till Dawn. Yeah, From Dusk Till Dawn. Uh, George Brother Clooney. Warren, what about yeah, the Three Kings? Three Kings. Three Kings we I were love. talking about this morning. Yeah. Descendants. There's so many good but ones. But Clooney and From Dusk Till Dawn was such a bad like he was so yeah, sick. He's, one of the, he's, <laughs> he's easily one of the greatest actors, and 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 the guy that you want to hang out with maybe the most. Yeah, like the coolest. And he's a Bengal fan. I mean, what the hell? Totally random. Well, I know he's from Kentucky. Yeah. Well, he he loves uh, he loves the Bengals. I don't want to like, turn this into a TJ story time, but I did have a George uh, Clooney experience. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you, after, I'll tell you during the break because it's really great. Shock the world. <laughs> Save it for Peacock, sir, <laughs> since, you're, since you're strutting like one right now. Hey, I'm a star of the Reich, Price is Right. We're Billy Crystal, Michael Smith, hour three, Frank Reich of the Colts when we come back here, and then Billy Crystal right behind him. Don't go anywhere here on this edition of the Rich Eisen Show. All right, TJ, I'll bite. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. What's your Clooney story? Oh, so, okay. So I'll make this quick. So back in the day, Jay-Z had a song. Oh, my gosh. And oh, he, oh. he made, he, in the song, he said, um, I'm the black Brad Pitt in this song. Yes. So one day, me and my friends were hanging out, and I was just making a joke. I was like, yo, you know who doesn't get enough love and rap? George Clooney. I'm like, I'm to be the black George Clooney. And all my friends were like, all right, cool. Oh, right. So my friends, like, they went with this, and it was just like a big joke. And then one day, Chris Rock was, he had, I think it was his bigger and one of his stand-up shows. I forget which one it was, but at Bigger and Blacker. At Universal Studios, he did like a, you know, it was practicing. So he'd go around, and he'd do stand-up in Mm -hmm. preparation to film this. So I got to go to this one show with uh, Ashton, and then we go backstage to see Chris Rock. And I walk into the dressing room, and there is Chris Rock. Cindy Crawford, her husband, yeah. George Clooney, and whoever George was dating at the time. And I walked in the dressing room. I was like, oh, my God, this is crazy. So I just kind of stood by the front door, like not wanting to kind of be in the mix. And Clooney walks by me, and literally the dude stops. This is just how cool he is. He didn't have to do this. He stopped. He came back, and he looks at me. He's like, hey, man, how you doing? I'm George. Great to meet you. Oh, and cool. I was like, he's just the I'm like, oh my man. God, this guy. And then Ashton kind of looked at me because he knew about the black George Clooney thing. So he just like busted out laughing and no one kind of understood why it was so funny to us. But did he, like, did you explain it to him? I, I did. And I was like, hey man, I'm TJ. Nice to meet you. And I wanted right. to say I'm the, the, you know, you're the white TJ Jefferson, but I didn't say that. And, and that would have been a little odd. Yeah. I so think, to come out of the gate like that. I thought your, your boy Ashton would have said, hey, George, this is why I'm <laughs> laughing. This is what he's saying. Nah, but I'm just, he definitely yeah. would have gotten a kick. Clooney was sure. definitely just like mad cool. Like I said, he walked by and it was almost like he felt bad not talking to me. So he came back. Oh, and, and by the way, in terms of, you know, what's also uh, cool and amazing, um, you know, Cindy Crawford's husband, Randy, Randy Gerber, Gerber, yeah, they only founded Casamigos together. So there's that too. Yeah, there's that. I met George Clooney on the red carpet of the Oscars. Hey, everybody. Oh. How about you? 
Uh, closest I came is I what helped Scott set Bale? up for when they did ER Live. <laughs> hey, oh. oh, that's way back in the day. You did the back. setup for ER Live. I huh? helped. Yeah, it was like one of my first A2 oh, that was gigs awesome. I did. Right. Those first four Early. ER years were the best. Amazing. I ER would tell was, my George my George Clooney story, uh, but that's like Fight Club. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. okay. Can't talk about it. That's even better than yours, isn't it? Ooh. Yes, this segment's over. Oh, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like I said, you can put That's anything it. in there. Well done, this segment. <laughs> hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.